So I have this secret that I want to share with y'all and depending what kind of person you are will depend on how you process and take in what I'm fixing to say. You know, my big secret is not for everybody. I understand that, but I know that it will resonate with some people out there. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree. <music> Have you worked out today? More than likely you haven't. So what are you waiting for? Yesterday, I went to go cut my hair. So I'm trying this new hairstyle that my wife don't like and I'm kind of trying to keep it to see how long I can go with it. To see if I change my mind on it, but I don't think I like it. For right now, I'm gonna try to fix it later because it's a new hairstyle I'm trying to make. You see this? has a hard line so I didn't fade it and I had seen somebody else with this haircut at first I was like man that's an odd haircut it's, you know it looks ugly but then I was like you know it's actually not that bad he can kind of pull it off so it has a hard line all the way all the way back so I'm not fading it in no more and at first it kind of looks weird but then it's like, I don't know, I'm kind of kind of liking it. So I'm going to give it like a week or two. I still got a couple of weeks before I get back home. So I'm going to give it a week or two to see if, um, if I change my mind on it. Maybe my wife, maybe she'll get used to it looking at me like that too. So she might change her mind on it too. But I think what I am going to do, I'm probably going to increase or make this hard line, make it a little bit more higher, maybe to about right there. It's about right there but it's not as bad as it looked yesterday when i first got it maybe i'm getting a little bit more used to it but i'm fixing to go work out get this workout in and because i need to i've been in my truck you know i've been working on some some papers uh some new videos i've been working on but i gotta get out the truck go go exercise and right now it feels good outside it's like I'm in uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania right now, and it's like 60 degrees. The weather's perfect, so I gotta get out there. Come on, let's go. Easiest way to shorten your truck driving career, committing a few errors in judgment repeatedly every single day. You would assume people would understand that concept, but they repeat the same errors every day for weeks, months, and even years. As truck drivers, we all get sick once in a while, but what is the difference between some of us that get sick for only two days as opposed to five days? The answer is how strong your immune system is. Not only that, a weak immune system can have you going from a slight cough to other major health problems like sleeplessness, dizziness, fainting, vomiting, or even headaches. So how do you keep your immune system strong? By taking care and nourishing your body. I can't remember the last time I got sick. I was wondering to myself, what was it that kept me from getting sick? Am I just lucky? Do I just have an amazing immune system that fights off the virus before it gets a chance to infiltrate my entire body? Or is it that unlike most truck drivers, I watch what I eat and I count my calories and I exercise four to five times a week minimum while being over the road. In my almost four years of being over the road, I can count on one hand how many times I've been sick. And they were all mostly in the beginning when I decided to go on this OTR journey, when I was at my heaviest and I didn't pay attention to my diet. In the past two years, I've been sick only once and I couldn't believe it when I started thinking about it. What was it about me and my body that I hardly ever got sick? And it's been like that most of my life. There were certain periods in the past that I have been more prone to getting sick. And when I did get sick, it lasted longer than it should have. But I knew the answer to how I'm able to fight off the bad toxins in my body. It was because of my daily habits. 
It was because I nourished and fed my body what it needed. And let me tell you a big shocker. The human body doesn't need large amount of carbs. It doesn't need highly processed food. It doesn't need greasy burgers and fries. It doesn't need extremely sugary drinks or candy. There are truckers out here consuming that every single day. What do you think will happen if you continue to live and eat like that over the next five years? Nothing good, I can assure you that. Prolonged sickness, expensive doctor visits, and your lifespan will be cut dramatically. You see truckers out here talking about how they've been trucking for over 25 plus years. You'll be lucky if you make it past 10 years by the way you're eating. You're not eating what they were eating back in the day. And when I say back in the day, that's just 10 or 15 years ago. The quality of food we have available nowadays at the truck stop is so bad that I predict medical cards will have to be renewed on a yearly basis in the next 5 to 10 years as opposed to every 2 years. That's also if autonomous trucks don't take your job first. Some of y'all drivers already have to renew it every year since y'all are overweight, diabetic, having heart issues, or have high blood pressure. We all know what the body needs. It needs water, it needs proper food and nutrients, it needs vitamins, it needs minerals, it needs healthy and natural foods, not the garbage that sits on the warmer racks at the truck stops all day long. An apple a day keeps a doctor away. A 15 minute walk around your truck keeps your body functioning properly. Having to be sitting down for 10 hours plus a day over the span of 5, 10, 15 years, how is that any good for a body that was created to walk and run? If you are not putting the human body to do what it was made to do, that was designed to endure harsh physical conditions, it will slowly start to deteriorate. Whether it's your body or something mechanical like your truck, if you leave it sitting down for a long time without moving, it will slowly stop working properly as it was meant to be intended. So it is your job to feed your body with the proper nutrients, to change your diet, to replace the oil that keeps the engine working properly, and to make sure everything is in operable conditions. Just like the FMCSA requires every commercial vehicle to have an annual inspection, you need to be going to the doctor to check up on your vitals on a yearly basis. Neglect your body, neglect your truck, neglect the necessary preventative maintenance, and that will result in a trucking disaster. One day you're going to wake up dumbfounded how the truck you got so overweight, wondering where along the road you took a wrong turn, thinking to yourself, is it too late for me to change lanes? Will it be too late to change courses by then? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'll tell you what though, I'm not willing to put a bet on it. I'm not saying you have to be a health nut, but if you look 5 to 10 years later in your life on the current projection that you're headed, on the current road that you're driving, where do you think you're going to end up? Your doctor must love you for how much business you bring him or her. If your doctor knows you by name and can recognize you at the grocery store, that's a problem. So if everybody already knows this, then what's the problem? The problem is that it's easy not to do it. The problem is that it's easy not to adopt a healthier way of thinking. The problem is you can't stop yourself from eating candy every single day. The problem is you don't have enough discipline to eat an apple instead of a Hershey's bar. The truck stops are not the problem. The availability of healthier choices is not the problem. The trucking industry is not the problem. You are the problem. You have to be smarter in what you shove down your throat. You have to be smarter than feeding your sugar cravings with some candy instead of eating some fruit. Don't fall for a candy bar a day instead of the an apple a day. I'm telling you, repeating the same error over the span of 10 years will accumulate into a disaster for your first year in trucking you can say you're healthy and that eating a candy is not going to make a difference that you don't need to be watching what you're eating but you have to be smarter than that just because you don't have health issues the first week the first month or even the first year that doesn't mean that the problems are not bound to come you have to start thinking 
and start looking down the road and say to yourself, the decision that I am making today, what would that cost me in one year, three years, five years? What kind of consequences will the future hold for the current errors that I am making today? I'm talking about the health cost, the money cost, the success cost. The cost is too big if you just take a peek of what awaits down the road. Ask yourself, how much will my current habits impact my life in the coming years? If you're in the trucking industry, let me tell you something. You're in it for the long haul. The chances of you leaving trucking for another career is very low. So if you know and plan on driving a truck for a while, I suggest taking care of your health before anything else. Making small errors as simple as eating something healthy versus something unhealthy will translate to other parts of your life. Just by looking at your diet, I can tell what kind of person you are. And I know one thing for a fact, nobody likes sloths. Nobody likes people who are gluttonous. If you have high cholesterol, chances are you have an empty bank account. Why? Because over the last three years, you probably didn't pay attention to either one of them. You have to be brighter than that. You left first grade a long time ago. My son is in pre-K and they are learning about what kind of foods are healthy versus unhealthy. If he knows as a four-year-old and grasps the concept of certain foods are bad for you, surely you have to know that as an adult. The reason they make pre-K deaths so small is so you won't fit in them as a grown person. You don't belong there anymore. So what is the big secret to having a successful trucking lifestyle? It is doing a few simple disciplines that you practice every single day. You will start a whole new life by doing simple but effective habits. An apple a day instead of a candy bar a day and you will have started the process that's going to change your life. If you start with your health habits, your money habits will soon follow. Just start the process. Eliminate the errors and replace them with disciplined practices. The only way you'll remain the same is by choice. You don't have to be the same as you were yesterday. Start today and your whole life will change immediately. Is it that simple? Yes, it's really that simple. Where else would you start? You don't have to start with something drastically. You can start by walking 50 minutes a day, nothing fancy. You walk 50 minutes a day and I guarantee you in a few months, you're going to start looking at yourself differently. You could, you should, but you won't. And then in five years, that accumulated into a catastrophe. So how do you change all that? You have to start with the person in the driver's seat. You have to start with your mindset, with your philosophy. You have to start with reducing your errors by doing some better thinking, changing your mind, coming up with better ideas. When I started doing that in 2022, I have never been the same since then. And I have kept up with the same process and philosophy, but nonetheless, I would never stop working on my craft. You neglect your craft, you lose your skill set. I don't want people that know me to say that they should have heard what I had to say two years ago. I want them to say, yeah, I like what he was saying two years ago, but you should listen to what he has to say now. You have to start with personal change. A good place to start is with your own philosophy. That's what's going to determine your daily disciplines, or that's what's going to have you committing the same recurring errors and everybody has it in them to change to choose to be wise you don't have to change identity but you have to change your habits if you change your habits you can turn around your income you can turn around your skills you can become capable healthy sophisticated even influential your life can and will change it will do a u-turn by doing a few simple steps by practicing daily discipline habits you don't need another job or another career. You, you don't need another life. You don't need another country or another planet. You need a better idea. You need a better guidance. You need to read a better book and you can start changing your life. If I can make you think, if I can make you intrigued, I'm telling you, it is as simple as an apple a day, as simple as walking a few times around the truck stop. If you don't start there where it's simple, then where are you going to start? Might as well start where it's easy. Then you can work yourself up to the harder disciplines. Your habits will determine your future. Jack Canfield. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
and stay healthy on the road. Drive safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.